All right, well, moving on now. Brazilians began paying their final goodbyes to Brazilian football legend Pelé today before burial later Tuesday. Our press reviewer, Diptyka Laurent, is here to take us through what the papers have to say. Well, no surprise, Aaron. It's on the front pages of the Brazilian papers today. Thousands of mourners from young and old uh, flooded the uh, football field of the Santos FC football club, uh, the club where Pelé uh, played for most of his career. Uh, they uh, flooded the field to pay their respects to the late Brazilian football legend. His coffin was draped in Brazil's colors, colors but also the colors of the Santos FC club. Uh, for uh, Pele uh, made football an art and he made football a cultural pillar of our country. That's what this paper here, Foya de Sao Paulo, says on its uh, front page in a rather adoring front page article here that you see uh, today uh, of that field there. Meanwhile, Mundo Deportivo, which is a uh, Catalan, Span uh, Catalan uh, sports paper, uh, is going with a one-word headline there, adieu or goodbye, it says to the late Brazilian football legend uh, Pelé will be buried uh, this Tuesday in a private ceremony. Now, from a three-time World Cup champion to a newly minted uh, first-time World Cup champion, this paper here, La Capitale, which is an Argentinian paper, reports that Leo Messi has now left his hometown of Rosario. He's on his way to Paris to join the Paris Saint-Germain club. Uh, the party is over for the newly minted World Cup champion. He and his family will be arriving sometime in uh, this Tuesday here in the French capital, Erin. Dipti will change gears now and turn to the United Kingdom, where the National Health Service, the NHS, is going through an unprecedented crisis, and that continues to dominate papers there. Yeah, well, according to the president of the Royal College of Emergency Medicine, up to 500 people could be could be dying uh, each week uh, because of delays to emergency care. Now, it's a very dire outlook for Britain's public health care system after years of budget cuts uh, that's prompting the Daily Mirror, this tabloid here today, uh, to really issue a plea to the government to help pull back uh, the NHS from the brink of collapse. The future of, NH of the NHS is on a knife's edge uh, and it reiterates uh, the pleas by doctors there to help pull hospitals back from the brink. So the, the tabloid really raising the alarm. The eye also uh, raising the alarm uh, on this situation, noting that the NHS faces three months of turmoil. Uh, the paper really evoking a catastrophic situation, comparing public hospitals to wartime hospitals, uh, with scenes of hell, uh, scenes from hell by angry patients, patients faced with oxygen shortages and a two-day wait for beds, with the situation likely to continue until at least April this year. Uh, fi uh, finally, you have uh, the Times cartoonist Morton Moreland, who sort of takes a sarcastic look at this situation. You have uh, he sees uh, the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak here uh, telling these uh, patients who are lying in the corridors of uh, British hospitals that thanks to the health secretary, you won't be affected by upcoming rail strikes because indeed, in addition to this health crisis, uh, there is uh, five days of rail strikes that are set to begin in uh, the UK this Tuesday. So uh, not off to a great start for the moment. It's certainly not what you would expect of one of the world's wealthiest countries, Dipti. Let's change gears again and go to Algeria, where the French magazine Courrier International is looking at a recent decision by the Commerce Ministry to ban the sale of items that go reportedly against Islamic traditions. That's right. As uh, Correa International explains, these kind of items that the ministry has catalogued as going against Islamic traditions include any kind of object that is rainbow-colored or alludes to the rainbow flag of the LGBT Q uh, movement, uh, homosexuality is still illegal in Algeria. It's also punishable by up to three years in prison. Aaron. You can read about that in uh, Le Courrier International today. Hey, Dipti, your next story is here in France, uh, which has been picked up by much of the international press, and that's uh, the French Caesars Academy, the equivalent to the Oscars, announcing a ban on a person accused of sexual misconduct. 
Well, it's an extraordinary step coming from the French Film Academy. It's something that The Guardian's looking at. It comes, of course, you remember, uh, after a walkout by certain French cinema stars during the 2020 César ceremony when uh, director Roman Polanski, who is a convicted child rapist, was awarded Best Director. This year's ceremony, which is due to take place uh, uh, in, in early 2023, has already been overshadowed by accusations of rape and violence leveled against one of its most rising stars right now, French actor Sofiane Benasser. Uh, the young actor had been tipped as an awards favorite, but he will now be excluded completely because he is indeed facing allegations of rape and violence. Uh, he, he denies any uh, wrongdoing, and his entourage uh, has called it a public lynching, but he certainly will be excluded from the upcoming ceremony. And finally, from you, Dipti, it's a new year, and with that brings predictions for trends in fashion and pop culture. So tell us what is expected to be hot this year. Well, according to The Independent, Erin, uh, 2023 will see an end to goblin mode, which you remember was sort of the antithesis to perfectionism. Uh, instead, it'll be replaced by what The Independent calls the soft life, which is a lifestyle free of stress. Uh, basically, staying in on a Friday night or organizing your cupboards will become cool again. Uh, expect to see what uh, the independent calls dopamine dressing in fashion. So basically embracing um, uh, highlighter colors like neon uh, yellow and hot pink. When it comes to fashion in footwear, it'll be out with the crocs and in with the ballet pumps. Apparently men will start embracing manicures in 2023. There'll be a return of the side boob as well. And expect athleisure to be replaced by retro 80s Barbie fits. So uh, you might see a return of leotards, leggings, and headbands, all in neon colors, of course. So, so much to look forward to this year, Erin. Indeed. Dipti Laurent with the Press Review. Thank you very much.